So our value set says, how do we love all the children of all species for all time? Base your technology on that question. As an architect, and being trained as an architect, and in helping you know, launch the green building movement, we don't use the term waste ever. We substitute the word nutrients. So if you think about organics, we are organic. Let's start with that. And so if I walk across the carpet, I might abrade it with my feet, and I might get tiny particles in the air, and I might breathe them. So we look at that and say, well, how do I make sure that face fiber is actually safe in my biosphere? See, so that is going into the organic metabolism. So it needs to be designed and defined down to the molecule that it's safe in the organosphere, let's call it for a minute. So right. we're looking at the organic world and saying this is something that we should celebrate and we should develop organic composting systems and gas extraction systems and all those things. And we should design into that. And I think buildings can do that. So one of the ways we do that is we do what we call design for disassembly. But when we design chairs with the biggest companies in the world, um, and they're aluminum and, and polycarbonate and polypropylene and polyethylene and steel and whatever, rubber, um, we're not designing them to all go from Mexico City, where they might have been used for 15 years, and thrown out the back you know, at the end of its useful life? No, at the end of its useful period as a chair, because it's broken or you know, it's time to change. It's not going to get shipped back to Michigan. That's silly. But the materials can be taken apart quickly by people who see the value in aluminum, polycarbonate, polyester, steel, rubber, and so on. So the chairs are all designed to come apart in five minutes with tools you'd find in a kitchen drawer. So they can be scavenged even just like the insects would do to a banana peel. So it's really not about tools, it's about values. And a hammer is not a good or a bad. If I hit you with it, it's a weapon, it's a bad. If I build a house, it might be a good. I put the value in the tool, it's my value. So what happens with design when, when we eliminate the concept of waste is everything becomes a good. You can put values and metrics on things but when you put the two together and you end up with something that beautiful, the world changes. <laughs>